Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to San Myshuno. We join the household over at 121 Hakim House with their rather gorgeous new addition. Everybody meet Darley. We have two very proud parents on our hands. So let's finish off this apartment today. Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Build. El Mondo. I think that was Spanish for the world. I could be wrong, but one of you guys said, why don't you start doing it in different languages? And I was like, that's a very good idea. So this starts here, and I'm probably going to absolutely crucify some of your languages out there, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Anyway, hello, welcome back. We are here. We are here back in this gorgeous little abode. I do absolutely enjoy this. Um, you've obviously seen we had a lovely little baby. I really love the name Darley. I just think it really, really suits. Really, really suits her. And I'm absolutely for it. So this is what we're doing today. You can see I've obviously furnished the bathroom off of camera. I end up using this little thing here that I always tend to forget about. This was from the Moschino pack. And it's like a little divider, a little glass divider. And I think it looks very nice. So I popped that in the shower, sunk the shower down off of a platform. Bath over here, a couple of sinks. Yeah, all of that good stuff, a mirror and a little toilet there as well. So they've got everything they may need to keep themselves squeaky clean. Uh, we're going to be doing the main bedroom today, the nursery, and also the main kind of like entrance hall as well. We got this uh, painting here through, I think it was, you get this through the, is it the artist's career or something? I don't know. What is it? Unlocked by reaching level six of the critic career. Sorry, not the artist while in the arts critic branch well there we go we've got that and that's what was that always that way i have no idea why is that staying there go away oh, for sake sims anyway yes that's what we've got to do today i think what we're going to start with is the main bedroom itself so let's have a little go shall we let's do it um hello welcome back wednesday is here my loves wednesday is here uh, apologies for everybody that came to the stream yesterday i had to end a little bit earlier my brain was just fried yesterday absolutely fried i am going to be live tonight though 7 p.m bst we're continuing on with the high school build if you do want to come and join us but if you don't then don't bother uh yesterday i broke my headphones i was fuming so that's why i've got these little shitty in-ear things on uh and yeah annoying annoying but i do have some new ones on the way so you don't need to panic all right everything's gonna be okay uh yep just went automatically and did that i thought that would look nice as a little backdrop for the bed to be honest with you gonna go oh god i burped my lung out then going to go a little bit not neutral but because rex is a little bit more monochromatic he prefers that kind of like tone we're going to go along the roots of that in this bedroom, I think. Maybe a little pop of colour, maybe just green. I think green would look nice in this room with black and white. That's what we're going to do in this room. Um, Because you can just see, like, V has got their colours everywhere all over this place. So I'd like a little dedicated moment here uh, for Rex as well. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we are indeed. Right. Okay. Oh, I haven't used these yet. These came with... Oh, yeah, they look nice. These came with... The base game update i think little end table here they make good coffee tables as well i like them for smaller coffee tables and i like that they're low too yeah that's nice i do like that in this space i do like that i'm unsure if i'm gonna put lamps on there oh uh, uh, now that i'm thinking about this i don't think it's gonna work but i was like oh we could put these like in between uh, no, I don't like that. No, I definitely think we need some nice lamps, some nice modern lamps. I'm kind of living for these ones from the Growing Together expansion. I really like them. I think they look nice for this room as well. Very classy. Yeah, I'm kind of here for that. Okay, so this room's a bit of a weird layout just because we've got so much window space here. I don't really want to take up the window space. And because they've got loads of clothes in my mind's eye, I think I'm going to do a built-in wardrobe instead. I think what we're going to do... Let's do a built-in wardrobe here by this window. There's concrete all over that and here as well. This The walls in here are going to stay all black too. And I think what I want to do is put this one in here in the black, obviously, and then do like a shelving moment in here where we could put stuff 
up on top of there to make it look like there's cloves or anything in, you know? I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm fucking going to do it. You watch. Right, I'm going to put one here. One there. And one there. Like that. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, I like that. I like that indeed. I like that indeed. Well, I was going to ask you guys something. What was I going to... Oh, I, I need something new to watch, loves. I need something new to watch. Um, I'm in the midst of Grey's Anatomy, as you all know at the minute. And I'm still very enjoying it. I'm on season six. But I want something else to watch. Um, What, guys, what are you watching? What are you watching? Let me know down below. And let other people know down below as well. I'm sure other people would like to have a little nose. So please let me know. Because I need some new things to watch. I'd watch anything as long as it's not like military based or anything like that. I'm not into that shit. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me, Charlie. Okay. Maybe a dresser here. It's quite the window. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much having the window there because we've got these two big ones. So we could cover a bit of this window up. But oh, this one's quite low. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it does. Oh, it does come in a black. Oh, well, there you go. Oh. Well, that's the ticket right there, loves. It's cut into the wall slightly, but I'm going to forgive it. Oh, yeah, that's nice because it still shows the full impact of that window rather than going for something a little bit taller. Do you know what I mean? And that kind of like blocks out a little bit more. Oh, I do like that one in here as well, though. Let me just see. <laughs> Let me just see. Let me have a look, please. The swatches aren't going to work anyway. I mean, that dark brown does work, but nope, we're going to go for the other one. Oh, I kind of like that one more. <laughs> All this room in question so um i think i'm gonna add that one in yeah screw what i said i like this one i prefer it <laughs> uh we're gonna add a little bit of oh, i was gonna say what what about that other swatch then but that would turn on the top it's not for me not for me in here anyway one of my favorite dresses this is i would actually have this in my real house i would i would have it in my real house yeah that looks nice there i like that oh look at you look look Sam Maishuno at his finest once again. A nice floating market up there. Do you reckon they're ever going to sort that out? Answers down below, please. I'd be intrigued to know. That brown is kind of throwing me now. I'm wondering if I need to change this bed because they do have that kind of moment there. That does look really nice with it, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. So we've gone for a bit more of a darker brown. Do we need to change these? That's probably going to be a bit too much. And I don't know. Yeah, that one's a bit too of a light brown as well. Wish this object came in better swatches or at least more swatches, different tones, you know, because the swatches are great. Um, Okay, so we've got a dresser. We've got a built-in wardrobe moment. We've got shelves going here. We could put a mirror here, a lovely mirror. In fact, I might do quite a big mirror here. And then I think over here, maybe some kind of seating, even two lovely armchairs. And we'll go for the black ones there from the paranormal pack. I just think they sit in perfectly with the tones in here so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna pop you to there then we're gonna find a little another little side table for the middle here it probably needs to be something um not too invasive if you know what I mean you probably don't <laughs> you probably do who am I to say um I don't think I want to go brown with it or do I I oh, know I think I do neutral tones in here not so much monochromatic but a bit more neutral I think I'm going to flop you to that. I'm going to turn it this way because I like the shape of the legs around there. Yes. Flop you like that. I'm going to put a big plant on you, I think. Yes. We're going to put a lovely plant on you. Uh, and I'm thinking the one from this one. The Moschino pack. Oh, that's the tiny one. Where's, where's the bigger one? This one. Slightly bigger. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm very much for it. As I said, we do want a mirror in this room and I'm wondering whether to go for something that's gonna like, I don't think that's, I don't know, that is kind of contemporary, but I think we need something a little bit more, um, just less, yeah, like that. <laughs> just less decorative, shall we say. I think what I'm gonna do is just overlap a couple of them. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. I do like that indeed. Notice the mirror doesn't reflect the clouds. I'm going to write a letter to the sim gurus about that. Thank you. Um, yeah. So what we need now is plants. I'm going to clutter up this space here. I don't really want to clutter anything on top of there. Maybe another plant. 
I don't really want anything cluttered. I don't, I don't see them being cluttery people. And a nice rug for in here as well. So let me grab a few bits out. And there we go. Just to finish it off, I've bought the painting in from the entrance hall and put it up in here. Just a little pop of colour. Nice little fluffy black rug on the um, floor there. I've put a couple of plants over on top of the dresser. And I've just lit this place up with a few trinkety bits. Some jewellery, watch glasses, gym stuff, storage. And I also put that lighting, the art lighting, um, above each shelf. Which made me go around and put them up on each of the paintings as well. But I'm for it. I'm actually for that. So I'm going to leave that. Lovely little bedroom. Not neutral. But I still think it kind of fits in quite nicely with the house. So... Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt. Anyway, here we go. Into the kids' room. Now, I want... I've, I don't know... I know why I picked orange, actually. I was just about to say. I don't know why I've picked orange, but it's because... Look at this. Look at the crib. Um, Dali is going to be absolutely made up with that. So I'm going to put the crib in here. In fact, I'm going to put the crib over on this side. Away from the window. We'll pop the crib in there. And I want to use that changing table... Because I know that comes in the same swatch. Lovely. But we need something like cartoonish or something up on the back. I think we're going to do that as well. I'm going to pop you into there. And then get that pedal bin. The pedal bin of dreams. And slot it onto the actual changing table itself. And we need a print up there. In my head, there's one with... Is it a orangutan reading? <laughs> <laughs> if I got that right, is that from the new pack? I think it could be. So let's filter for growing together. Um, here we go. It's in this one here. Will this? Oh, oh, that's very small. Can I size you up? Does that? Oh, oh that fits in there perfectly. Ah, oh, and we can pretend. Oh, that. Maybe they both did it. Maybe they both did the mural because they've got a high painting skill. So maybe they both did the mural. Oh, that fits in here kind of perfectly, actually. Because of the, like, the black um, outline as well. It kind of fits in with the, the styling we're going for. Yes, I'm for it. Okay, lighting. In fact, we'll keep that lighting just in case. I think we need to go a little bit whimsical with the lighting as well. And I always love to use... Oh, that one would look good in here as well, though. But I always love to use those little cloud lights. Where are you? Here they are. Oh, they've got orange. Oh, let's do it. Let's do a little orange cloud. Doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Sunset cloud, you know? That's kind of cute, actually. I'm for that. Okay. Stunning. Lovely. So, nursery. What else do children need? Um... <sighs> kids' rooms as well. Well, not so much kids' rooms, but nurseries and, like, rooms for toddlers. I find them a bit boring to do, too. So, I think, obviously, we're going to need some wardrobes. But I think it would have to be something kind of neutral now. So, maybe this one here in the black. See, that just never sits black to me. That always looks dark brown. There is a charcoal-y one. That's a little bit better. So, maybe we should use this one. Maybe we should use this one. Oh, oh no, because we haven't got toddler clothes. I wish we had, like, not toddler clothes, but well, even toddler clothes. Just clothes that are not just adults, you know, so we could hang them up. That would look, I was thinking about using the high school, like, rack and putting toddler clothes up there, but we don't have them. <gasps> Unless I, can I size them down? Let's test this for science. <laughs> um, <laughs> why, why is that so funny? But it is, it is very, very funny. Um, let me see if I can do it on the side as well. Why am I finding this hilarious? I just am, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> why why is that hilarious i think i'm gonna do that. i don't think i can do that i don't think i've got the stomach to do that um <laughs> why is that hilarious i think it's because it's like a short little like cheeky jacket and stuff and a mini skirt <laughs> not mini skirts for toddlers please that is not the vibe that we're going for no that's silly we are getting rid of that two of them have moved to no they're not i'm gonna sell them thank you um, I liked it. I pulled out these, though. I thought they're kind of, like, fun and playful. So, I think I'm going to pull out these. And maybe put some, like, toys up in there. But I would love some kind of bookcase in this room. Oh, we could put the bookcase here. Bookcase here with a chair there. 
I think that could be a vibe. And I think what we'll do is go back to our original plan of just putting in a wardrobe and using the Peacemaker one. Where is it? There we are. This one here in the charcoal grey. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe pop it in the middle, actually. Yeah, I'm going to pop it in the middle and then I can maybe put all oh, the giraffe in here. Yes, we'll do that. Where's that giraffe, please? Giraffe. Um, Geometric giraffe. Gary the giraffe. He's I always forget that he's called Gary. I'm absolutely for you, Gary. I really am. I just think that would look cute in here. Yes. Yes, indeed. It would be nice if we could have like another animal, you know? Uh, oh, the llama. Oh, yes. And a llama. I forgot about you. What pack did you come with? Base game? I've never seen that in my life. Why does it look like that llama's got a six pack anyway? Working out. Do you lift? Don't even say that, Aiden. Don't even say that. I nearly said in. I nearly cringed. I nearly cringed my face off. So cute. And then I think some little like toys up on this part. We'll do that in a second. Let's figure out what we're doing here because I do want a bookcase here. And I'm hoping the one that I have on my head, this one, comes in a swatch that would kind of match in well in this room. It kind of does. I think I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to put that there. That is swamping that area in though. I'm going to let it be. We're going to let it be. And then I'm going to put a little armchair on this point here. And I think I'm just going to use my ye old faithful. Maybe go for the little black bear instead. Yes. A little nursing chair next to the bed. Beautiful. Beautiful job. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think maybe up here. Um, I don't know what I could put up there actually. Oh dear. I think I need to pull a few things out for the walls. Um, and maybe a rug and all of that good stuff. Uh, and we should be done. And there we go. I forgot about these decals. I love them. They're from werewolves, if you wonder where they were from. Um, love them. Little moon, little owl. Um, a little rug, a little spaceship and stuff on. I've pulled out a toy box. They're too young for a toy box at the moment. But maybe it was something that they got made especially. Uh, I haven't finished putting anything up here yet. I don't think I'm going to bother, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think that looks fine enough as it is, but I have put this up here in that big one just so it fills that space. And I pulled out this little measuring chart as well for when they start to get bigger and whatnot. But that's cute. I'm kind of pleased with that room. Yeah, kind of pleased with it. Now, because this is the baby room, I'm not going to put blinds up in any of the other rooms, but this one here, I think it kind of needs one. So I'm going to add one up. Add one up? add one in and I might go for the yellow one actually yes we'll go for the yellow one and put that one there just in case the baby needs to be asleep during the day which they do I think no idea I don't like children so <laughs> this is the entrance hall I'm thinking it needs more storage so I'm wondering let me see this grid space I could have done like two more yeah I'm gonna do it I am gonna do it I'm gonna do two two of those walk-in wardrobes here as well just so they've got even more room to put their stuff. Uh, invalid facet? I'll tell you what, it's not. Um, no, not you. We need you. Come here. I think I'm going to do... Whiffle it around the correct way and put either one like that. Oh, I don't like... No, I do not like that at all. Swamping that door way too much. Uh, if I put the door to open the other way, that should be fine. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. Nope, don't like it. Back to the drawing board. So I went off on a bit of a tangent and I just furnished it. Um, I, Yeah, I wasn't happy with what I had then with those wardrobes. So I've used a little bench with a mirror behind it, shoe storage underneath. This shelf here over on this little corner here, just for a bit of contemporary and a bit of splash of green. This gorgeous painting here I've put up on that side of the wall. And then here I've just put a little side table with a lamp and phone and keys up on the side there, my loves. And we're done. We are done with another apartment for Sam my shoe now. So let's get into live mode and have a little bit of a tour, shall we? And here we are, my love. So in through the front door, you obviously just saw me furnish this little area here. Little entrance moment. You come into the living room. We've got Rex over there feeding the gorgeous Darley. Well, you're supposed to be feeding Darley. What's going on? Oh, they're just looking in each other's eyes. I mean, look how adorable. Darling, you're beautiful. Look at these two. 
Oh, I'm for that. I really am. We've got V over in the kitchen whipping up an absolute storm. Um, no idea what they're making, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. We've got that lovely little island moment here. Love the views from this particular um, lot. I think it's really, really cute. Yeah, they're definitely bugged out, but I think it's very adorable. <laughs> it's an adorable? It's an adorable bug out. So, yeah, for it. And then into baby Darlie's little nursery slash bedroom. Oh. I think it's very cute. I like the colours in that in here. I like that we've gone for a darker aesthetic, even with the nursery. And I think it works. It's still fun and playful. Oh, it does cut in slightly to the ceiling there. I can forgive it. I'm going to just pretend that that didn't happen. Um, You're cute. You're adorable. We're moving on into here as well. So into the uh, master bedroom. And here it is. Gorgeous. Very neutral compared to the rest of the house, but it's very classy. And yeah, I'm kind of for it. Kind of for it. This has been fun. This has been a nice apartment to furnish. It really, really has. Very nice apartment to furnish. Now we are going to come back next week. And we're going to be furnishing this one here. Oh, who are you? Oh, that's that. Um, What's he called? Akira. Akira, you're not going to be living here anymore. I, I am sorry. I do quite fancy you. But you're not going to be living here anymore because I have got a family moving into there which i'm very excited about but yeah gorgeous gorgeous things anyway my loves thank you so much for watching i'm gonna be back tomorrow with some design me devon we haven't done that in quite a while so i'm gonna be back with that tomorrow as i said live on twitch tonight 7 p.m bsd doing some more building with the high school if you do want to join us then you can but if not i'll see you tomorrow goodbye